Hello everyone on our Celebrity Biographies channel. Mark Eaton, who twice was the NBA's Defensive Player of the Year during a career spent entirely with the Utah Jazz, has died. He was 64. Let's remember his life path and wait till the main stages of his sports career. Mark Eaton was born January 24, 1957 in Inglewood, California and grew up in Southern California. Despite his height, as a youth he was more interested in playing water polo than basketball. After graduating from Westminster High School in 1975, Eaton attended the Arizona Automotive Institute in Phoenix and graduated as a service technician. He worked as an auto mechanic and making $20,000 a year when he was eventually discovered by Tom Lubin while repairing cars in Anaheim in April 1977. Lubin, a chemistry professor, was an assistant basketball coach at Cypress College, and his encouragement led Eaton to enroll at the community college in 1978 and try out for the basketball team. Eaton developed into a solid junior college player. He averaged 14.3 points per game in two seasons at Cypress, and led the school to the California Junior College title as a sophomore in 1980. After his freshman year at Cypress, he was drafted by the Phoenix Suns in the 1979 NBA draft with the 107th pick in the fifth round. He was eligible to be drafted because he was already four years out of high school in 1979. However, he opted to return to college basketball. Eden transferred to University of California, Los Angeles in 1980, but did not see much action in his two seasons with the Bruins. In his senior season, he played just 42 total minutes, averaging 1.3 points and 2.0 rebounds in 11 games. Eaton was initially disappointed with his inability to play effectively as a Division I collegiate player. Wilt Chamberlain, who frequently attended UCLA practices after his retirement from the NBA, saw Eaton's frustration and, on one occasion, personally took him under a basket to explain that Eaton needed to focus on protecting the basket, getting rebounds, and passing the ball to quicker guards, rather than trying to compete with smaller, quicker players in scoring. Eaton has cited Chamberlain's advice as the turning point in his basketball career. Because of his lack of playing time at UCLA, few NBA teams had interest in Eaton after he finished his college career. However, the Utah Jazz saw him as a potentially dominant defender and selected him with the 72nd pick in the fourth round of the 1982 NBA draft. In his rookie season, Eaton made an immediate impact. He replaced Danny Shays as Utah's starting center early in the year, and finished the season with 275 blocked shots in 81 games. His 3.40 blocks per game ranked third in the NBA, behind Atlanta's Wayne, Tree, Rollins and San Diego's Bill Walton. Eaton continued to improve in his second season with the Jazz. In 82 games, he grabbed a team leading 595 rebounds and blocked 351 shots. His 4.28 blocks per game led the NBA, well ahead of Rollins, who finished second with 3.60 blocks per game. Eaton's strong defense helped the Jazz make their first ever playoff appearance. Eaton's third season was spectacular. He blocked 456 shots, shattering the NBA record for most blocked shots in a single season set during by Elmore Smith, who had blocked 393 shots for the Los Angeles Lakers. Eaton averaged 5.56 blocks per game, more than double the league's second-ranked shot blocker that season, Houston's Hakeem Olajuwon with 2.68 blocks per game. In addition, Eaton averaged 11.3 rebounds per game, ranking fifth in the league in that category. For his efforts, he was named to the NBA All-Defensive First Team and was honored as the NBA's Defensive Player of the Year. On April 26, 1985, Eaton made 10 blocks in a 96-94 loss to the Rockets, becoming the first NBA player to record 10 blocks in a playoff game. Although he was not a significant offensive contributor, the Jazz relied heavily on Eaton for his shot blocking, rebounding, and occasional, tippy-toe, dunks. With the emergence of superstars Carl Malone and John Stockton, the Jazz became one of the best teams in the NBA. Eaton's stifling defense was a major factor in Utah's success. He was named NBA Defensive Player of the Year for the second time in his career, and was also named to the NBA All-Defensive First Team, for the third time in his career. In addition, he was chosen to play in the 1989 NBA All-Star Game, joining teammates Malone and Stockton on the Western Conference team. In his last few years with the Jazz, Eaton was slowed by knee and back injuries. He remained an imposing defensive presence, but his rebounding and shot-blocking abilities slowly declined. During the 1992-93 season, 
Knee surgery and back problems limited him to 64 games, where he averaged 17.3 minutes per game, both career lows. Degenerative back ailment forced him to drop out of training camp and miss the 1993-94 season. After therapy failed to correct the problem, he announced his retirement from basketball in September 1994. His entire NBA career was spent with the Utah Jazz. In 875 games, he scored 5,216 points, grabbed 6,939 rebounds, and blocked 3,064 shots. At the time of his retirement, he ranked second all-time in league history in total blocked shots, behind Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's career total of 3,189. Abdul-Jabbar played 1,560 games to Eaton's 875, however, statistics for blocked shots were not kept until the 1973-74 season, missing the first four seasons of Abdul-Jabbar's career. To honor his contributions to the team, the Utah Jazz retired Eaton's number 53 during the 1995-96 regular season. In 2010, Eaton was inducted into the Utah Sports Hall of Fame the same year as fellow NBA Seattle Supersonics, Phoenix Suns and Utah Jazz star player Tom Chambers. After his retirement, Eaton worked for KJZZ-TV in Salt Lake City, providing color commentary and analysis for television broadcasts of Utah Jazz and University of Utah basketball games. Mark was a partner in a Salt Lake City area restaurant named Tuscany. Besides, he was a president and board member of the National Basketball Retired Players Association from 1997 to 2007. Eaton founded and served as chairman of the Mark Eaton Standing Tall for Youth organization, which provided sports and outdoor activities for at-risk children in Utah. He was a motivational speaker. In the 2013 NBA Slam Dunk Contest, jazz player Jeremy Evans jumped over a seated Eaton to dunk the ball. Mark Eaton was an American professional basketball player who had a net worth of $6 million at the time of his death. Mark played in the NBA from 1982 to 1993. During his NBA career Mark earned a little over $9 million. That's the same as around $17 million today after adjusting for inflation. Mark Eaton the 28th of May 2021 left his home for a bike ride in Summit County, Utah, and shortly thereafter someone called 911 to report after seeing him lying on a roadway and unconscious. Eaton was taken to a hospital where he later died. He was 64. The team, citing county officials who investigated, said, there is no reason to believe a vehicle was involved in the incident. The Jazz described him in a statement as an enduring figure in our franchise history, who had a significant impact in the community after his basketball career.